All right, guys, today make here for tools. Let's go over the brand new Hilti Neuron vacuum. Now, the model number for this is VC751-22. I've actually been eyeballing the previous model of this vacuum for a long time. I did do a video on the other one, but I ended up not uh, uploading it. Just, I just didn't like the quality of the video I did last time, so that was like sort of a lesson learned. We are gonna do a two tool review in this video because both of these tools complement each other and you could use one with the other. So I think it'll be a good idea. Let's get to it and test these out and it's gonna be good. seven and a quarter inch circular saw weighs with no battery, eight pounds and 3.0 ounces. Sorry if you guys can't see that, eight pounds and 3.0 ounces. The vacuum weighs 10 pounds and 4.1 ounces. All right guys, so this saw is actually extremely cool. I do love that it has a port for the hose right there. All right, the one thing that I love about this saw is that it has a couple of presets. Let's zoom in right there. There is 22.5, 45 and 50. So if you have this at zero, then go to 22.5. This will not go beyond 22.5. So that's 22.5 right there. Put it back, let's do 45. That is 45, and as you can see, there is 50 degrees on there and it's not quite there yet. So I love that it has that preset. Then if we go to 50, it'll go a little bit more. Now it's at 50, so I love that. So if you put it back down, go to 22.5, doesn't let you go beyond that, then you just lock it down, then you're good to go. All right guys, so here we have a two inch piece of this beautiful walnut. So we're gonna use this to test out that saw as well. My preference is a left bladed circular saw. Because of this camera angle, it's gonna be a little awkward for me to do, but I'll try my best to keep this in the shot. So please forgive my stuff. We are gonna do a video on this as well, coming up. Not bad. Unlock that, 45 degrees, lock it back up. All right, let's test this out. Now remember, this is I'm doing this for the camera because if I do it the other way, I'm gonna be completely blocking the shots. Using a right side circular saw for me is a bit awkward. go like i said you guys i have this is not up uh, it's not on a track i didn't do any lines i'm just flat out busting through the the wood and look at that the other way we will since this is the narrower part we will do 28 inches from that side then 28 inches on this from this side actually is the perfect length right there to right there. That's better. That is much better. As you can see, it actually is a straight cut. Two guiding slots, one for zero degrees and one for 45. It's not, you can't really see that. I'll just take a picture of that and show you right now. I did go to the Hilti store to buy these. This was a $75 pack for, I think, I believe five blades. Let's see, be careful not to cut yourself. 
We got one, two, three, yep, five blades. These are seven and a quarter inch blades. That's 24 uh, carbide teeth. That's actually not a bad price. That really isn't a bad price at all. Too bad I couldn't buy these individually. I had to buy a pack. All right, so make sure your battery is not in the tool if you can change your blades out, you guys. You know, you could, if you're, even if you're an expert, you could do it without touching the trigger, but it's just best not to do it. We're gonna use the 8 amp hour battery. We are not gonna use a vacuum for this one, so we're just gonna do some cuts. Let's see how this treats two inch solid walnut. Like I said, you guys, I prefer a left sided blade. Yeah, which we're actually gonna have to put the camera like this. Like I said, this is a beautiful piece of wood and it's just killing my friend Matt. So I bought this piece from him and it's killing him that I'm just cutting it up doing a test. To have that all the way down, you cannot use a, eight, a 12 amp hour battery. What you could do though is do that, but you, would, but you wouldn't get as much depth as, as normal. Yeah, that's unfortunate. So if you use the big 12 amp hour battery on there, you can't close the bevel all the way. Oh, right there. Perfect. Nice and snug. See, I like that feature. Just cleans it really quick. All right, so first of all, when it comes to the battery, a 12 amp hour battery does fit in there. It's actually perfectly designed for it to go in there. This uh, part right here, you clip on, and then this is for the shoulder strap. The other part of the shoulder strap goes right there. Now there are two modes for this, eco mode and max mode. That's max, that's eco. Now, when it comes to the eco mode, I don't know if it's like an automatic thing to where if you it feels like it needs more suction, it'll just kick on. Or if that's pretty much speed one and speed two, then of course you have off. There is a feature on here to where it is an overload feature. So if the motor gets too hot, it will actually turn itself off to prevent the motor from frying out. I want to show you the inside of this and how you actually change your change your filter that is inside. Now, I it is unfortunate that this is, I do not believe that this is a wet dry vac, so I wouldn't suck up water at all with this, but this is the base of the vacuum. It does have rubber, uh, a couple of rubber stops on the bottom. It's four or one for each corner. If you're not sure about tools, read the instructions. This is only a dry vacuum. It is not a wet or dry vacuum. All right, but when it comes to the actual filter that is inside, because like I said, this is a, a dry vac only, all you gotta do is do this, then lift up. It is a pretty hefty filter that is in there. And I, like I said, this is uh, HEPA ready. It has nice silicone edges on there for a good seal. That just goes back in. Yeah, there's only one way to put it back in. Just, just wanted to look at that. Then you lock them into place just by doing that. And that is good to go. So I'm just gonna assume that this is manual uh, filter cleaning only. Like I said, that's a cool noise. It really is. A oh, battery battery would help. That is a cool noise. But when it comes to the disassembly of the hose, it's very simple. There is an eject button right here. Just hold that down. And the hose could be easily taken off. Which I love that it actually has a, a separate eject button for that instead of having to twist the hose out, then there you go. And it does have a nozzle with bristles on there. Goes on just like that. And like, like I said, you guys, it's a vacuum. Vacuums are very useful. You use vacuums every day. 
And these type of vacuums designed by Hilti are, you know, multifunctional vacuums, of course, but their main target for these is actually to use them with SDS hammer drills to keep the workspace as safe as possible and OSHA regulation friendly. I do hope that if this filter gets dirty, that is, a, that is automatic. And so, yeah, so when it comes to these two tools, more videos will be coming of these. I just wanted to get these tools out there just to show you on how, they, how well they actually work. And we use a four amp hour battery. And like I said, this is a seven, seven and a quarter inch circular saw, right bladed. Yep. But I do prefer the left blades. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.